They don't like me, so I avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that creepy looking thing? I don't know, but I just got it on camera. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I edited the video before the news. Sometimes when the words don't come, I wait a day to write them in. Before me is the footage of a life, of a birthday, of a first birthday. But in my phone and in my heart and invariably on my mind is the sick contrast of death. Of a woman just died. A teacher. Not a person that I actually probably knew all that well. Not a person I even necessarily got along with. And yet... A person none of us will ever see again. While we were cutting cake, she was saying goodbye. While we were singing, her family was crying. While we were thinking and dreaming and chatting on about the life before, our little birthday girl, of the crazy more parties to come, of her teenage years, of showing this footage to her first boyfriend in the face of a life brimming with the definition of a clean start, of thousands of doors opened, my teacher's door closed one final time. I once saw a picture of her as a child. She was a cute kid too once. And, and I'm trying to write something beautiful, but when I try to write my feelings, the page stays empty, which actually seems strangely accurate. What is life against the inescapability of death? Is life a beautiful lie and death some painful truth? Is life just some futile battle with no peace, with no hope, with no ceasing, until we hit our ends. Someday you'll die. Someday I'll die. Someday this beautiful girl running around before me will die. Why celebrate life when we know death will win in the end? But before me is a footage of a life, of a birthday, of a first birthday. And in those eyes, I see no sorrow. In that room, I see no tears. I see love. Love for a beautiful little girl. Love for a life full of possibility. Love of people whose lives are not to be defined by death, but by life. Love, the reason death's so hard. Love, which has conquered death already. I refuse to accept that this is the end. I refuse to accept that as one's life began, the other stopped. No, this is just the beginning for both of them.